praise the Lord. A nut and gone home bill for Lord. Praise God. And so uh, today, as we pay our respect, and uh, and uh, I want to let you know that uh, I am very sorry for your loss of your loved one. But praise God, uh, Lana Hill, she, she know the Lord. And that's all that matters. So uh, at this time, let's just... Uh, pray that the Holy Spirit will comfort y'all. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be here. To, Lord, uh, just celebrate uh, going home uh, for my sister in the Lord. Uh, oh, dear God, how much he loved you and the family. And today, Lord, uh, I ask you to comfort the hearts of the loved ones that are still left behind. Uh, Holy Spirit, uh, I give them strength throughout the day and put a hedge of protection around them to take care of them until another point in time. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. And I said uh, I was trying to get together things. Uh, I praise God to what I could say, and, and I was glad I got to meet her. I praise God, and you know, she, she went through a whole lot uh, through her suffering with a sickness that she had and and I feel like uh, uh, through her sickness I uh, she could overcome that real good but I, I think one of the hardest things that she couldn't overcome was the losing of her son and I really believe that uh, she loved him so much but she was a person of love we know in 2nd Corinthians 1 3 and 4 it talks about uh, the comfort of love he had the, the comfort and she had it and we can have the comfort of her love and uh, her family shared her love so many times uh, and we you, and I know for personal that uh, she was always talking about her family her Christian family in the church had shared her love the, and her friends uh, shared the love that she had and also she had uh, the comfort of all other people that loved her she was a loving person we can honestly say that she was strengthened by the love of a family and uh, praise God and they stood by her at, at the time that she needed it and I said uh, and she felt the love of the church and uh, wouldn't you know spam be calling at this time today well, I'm gonna cut it off. It won't. They won't call no more. I thought I had it. I, I bought it because I wanted to do a song. Uh, Mason sang the song, and so he wanted to give it to her. She loved Mason, and uh, and she was strengthened by her love and family. She felt the love of the church family, and she enjoyed the love of many friends. And and y'all know that. For the fact, I praise God and the greatest blessing of all that she knowed the love of God. She loved, I guess God loved in, in the, you could see it in all the blessings that she had. And we see that uh, in life and death, she knowed uh, uh, that uh, the comfort of God's love. We, we also know that at the time when it comes down to an end, I praise God. Uh, we know, you know, it's a, I guess so many times we think about Psalms. Uh, 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 Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for they are with me to comfort me. And uh, and I think right now, I praise God, uh, she done went through that stage. She's in the presence of the Lord. He, that's why Jesus said in John 14, 16, says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus taught us how to live. Hey, we we are created in the image of God. I hey, praise God and capability of thinking and feeling. I hey, praise God and, and and knowing Him and knowing His fellowship. Jesus said, "And this is eternal life that we may know that the one only true God and Jesus Christ, whom Thou hast sent." In John seventeen three, she knew, she knew Jesus as a personal Savior. When time that she was in the church, the time that she got to visit, it, even through her sickness, she's always was rejoicing. She loved the spirit that was there. And that's the spirit that God has for us. I praise God. Jesus taught us 
how to live again uh, when he told us uh, 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 in John 11 and 25. And I said to myself, you know, Christians are blessed when they know Christ. We are so blessed knowing that we're blessed coming in and blessed going out. Praise God. I, I said that if today I could say something, I, I, I really, I guess Jesus is always with his people. He's always with us. He'll never leave us, forsake us. He said, I'll go with you to the end of time. And this is what this is. Hey, she done fought a good fight. Hey, she done have kept the faith. Hey, the victory's won for us, for her. And now, you and I, as we stand here today, we're going to have to fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> hey, praise God. And one day, if we know the Lord Jesus as our personal Savior, then we'll, we'll hold on to that wonderful that wonderful blessing that in other words this is not the end Jesus said it won't be the end this is just the beginning for her and we got to fight the good fight to get there and one day we will we'll reunite with our loved one I know so many people in the church Mount Carmel Church I have preached a funeral a lot of them right here and I said to myself all of the people go home being for Lord. And one day at that reunion, we all get to see one another again. And that's what Jesus has said. He, he said, I go prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would have told you so. I, he, he done already prepared a place. I praise God uh, for our sister, Lana Hill. I praise the Lord and I believe. I believe with all my heart that she is in the presence of the Lord. That's why we can comfort one another with his saying, I praise God. And today, you know, I, I like to, if I could get it to play, I want to play a song, that Mason song. I praise God and, and try to bring it up. And uh, and just, I want you to listen to it, the anchor holes. And and I said, uh, I said to myself, she told me how much she loved that song. And uh, she listened to it while they were singing. Hey, praise God. And uh, <clears throat> well, when you know it, the, the enemy don't. They ain't coming in good. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you. Lord, that we have the assurance today that my sister is in your presence. Lord, today, Lord, I just ask you to encourage the children and the friends and the loved ones that are left behind. Father, I ask you to, Lord, that just strengthen their heart and encourage them and let them know that Jesus loved them just like he loved her. And Lord, I just give you the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Y'all forgive me for not hugging you and shaking your hand at this time, but I praise God, but uh, maybe one day when all of this, uh, this virus gets over, we can come and uh, maybe you can come to the church and visit us. Or better yet, just call me on my phone. I love you and appreciate you. Thank you again for being here and paying your respect to, to your loved one. Bye, sister.